2012, some researchers at MIT were putting out different papers and statements and chapters and saying the basal ganglia is not just for motor, it helps form habits. Strongly affects the emotional part of your brain as well. So what it does is it helps you develop a habit into something automatic. Okay, so think about that first just physically, a physical habit. A skill like riding a bike. You practice it, you practice it. When you first ride your bike, you have to think really hard of which way you're trying to turn the wheel, how you're positioning your body, even though you cognitively know what you're supposed to do, but you're just consciously trying to force your body to do something, and it's not automatic yet. It's really hard, like ride a bike. Once it becomes automatic, you're making the tiniest adjustments when you're riding a bike without even thinking about it. You can do way more mental calculations, basically, if it becomes automatic, because then you can actually focus on other stuff. Um, so it becomes automatic. But this isn't just muscle memory, quote unquote, like learning to ride a bike, right? Which isn't actually in your muscles, it's in your basal ganglia, and it's related to connections. But it's other things. So then these, the big revelation was MIT people going, oh, it's not just learning how to ride a bike, it's learning a habit of thought. A certain mantra you might tell yourself over and over and over just kind of automatically or even just a thinking error you make or a good type of thinking if i automatically take a deep breath whenever i'm stressed out because i practiced it so much that it becomes automatic habit that'd be a great wellness habit right it's not just a physical thing or i picture something calming every time that i'm stressing out or vice versa there's some people we know that when things get stressful they get paranoid and they blame everybody of everything, right? That's a habit that they've, that's gotten built up and now it becomes semi-automatic for them. Uh, not a helpful habit. There's emotional habits. Um, so it's not just movements, but repetitive ways of feeling, ways of thinking, they can get stuck. Not stuck forever, but can get automatic and start happening more and more repetitively. 